Hello and welcome to the video series about BIM 9 and private BIM clouds. My name is Brian Smith and in this video we're going to see what it's like to access a Revit model over a private BIM cloud. If this happens to be the first video you've watched in this six video series, I'll show you how to check out the other videos at the end of this demonstration. For now though, let's see how a private BIM cloud works. I'm connecting to the private BIM cloud with a MacBook Pro from my home office here in Virginia Beach, Virginia over a Wi-Fi connection. The private BIM cloud is physically located in the BIM 9 office in Las Vegas, Nevada. So now I'm going to switch to my desktop on the MacBook Pro. To get things started, I'm going to launch a remote desktop client that will connect us to the private BIM cloud. There are many different remote desktop clients like ITAP or Microsoft RDC but I'm using the Aircom Blaze client. BIM 9 worked closely with Aircom to create a version of the Blaze client that's Autodesk software friendly. Without these enhancements, using AutoCAD remotely would be extremely frustrating. All of this information tells my computer how to connect to the private BIM cloud computer and passes my credentials on, so I'll just click connect. Those flashes were the connection happening and logging me into a specific virtual machine on the private BIM cloud in Las Vegas. Once I'm logged in, a Windows 7 desktop appears full screen just like I'm sitting at a physical computer there. Now I was working in Revit a little earlier today and it's still running so I'll just pull it up. And for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to open the advanced sample model. I like to use this model because it ships with Revit, so you can run this to compare performance on your own system. Now while this model is loading, I do want to point out that this is not intended to be a Revit demo. We're strictly looking at how the private BIM cloud performs. Okay, the model is loaded, so I'll first switch to a floor plan called 01 Entry Level. Notice how it opens almost instantly. I'll just roll my mouse wheel so that I zoom in to the entry area. I'll highlight this door and adjust it to a single door by selecting a different type. Just to make some modifications, I'll change the name of this room to mechanical. And you can pan and zoom as you normally would. Now I'm going to go up and change to a 3D view. You'll see again, the view changes almost instantly. I'll zoom in some orbit around. You'll see the performance is very smooth. So let's change to the 3D section view through the main stair. I'll zoom in. You can highlight a piece of furniture and then orbit around the selection. And all of this is happening remotely. When you're done working on your model, you would just save or save to central just as you normally would. But I'm going to close Revit, which will put me back to my private BIM cloud desktop. At the end of the session, I'll just go down and log off of Windows, which will end my remote desktop connection and return me to my MacBook Pro desktop. So now let's take a look at a diagram of what we just did. So here's our private BIM cloud. 
Keep in mind it's actually one physical computer that has several optimized virtual machines allowing up to five people to log in and work simultaneously on a single piece of hardware without any decrease in performance. You cannot even tell when others are logged in and working. So here we are, a remote user. We connect over the internet through an uncommon port and firewall to the private BIM cloud. The PVC would sit in your office normally in the same vicinity as your file server. So when you saw me open the model in Revit, I could have just as easily navigated to a network share or map drive and loaded the model from there. You'll also notice that others within the same office at their workstations will be working just as they normally would. Opening models on drawings from the server, there's no change in the normal process for these guys. Finally, over here you can see thin clients. We'll expand on this in a video about problems a private BIM cloud solves, but for now, think of these computers as low power to older computers. These users can connect to the private BIM cloud over the internal local area network and get the same performance on their old clunkers as you would from a high-powered workstation. So now you've seen how Private BIM Cloud performs. Instead of bringing the data to us, we went to the data. The only information that's traveling over the internet are screen updates, mouse clicks, and keyboard taps. You can even print and plot right over the Private BIM Cloud in either location. Finally, you can choose what you'd like to learn about a Private BIM Cloud next. Go back and watch the introduction to Private BIM Clouds if you missed it, or continue on to learn about the hardware people are using to host a Private BIM Cloud, what challenges the Private BIM Cloud solves, hear what some clients have to say about BIM 9, or how to get started with a BIM 9 Private BIM Cloud in your office, including some specification and pricing information. Thank you for watching, and again, I'm Brian Smith. For any other information, be sure to check us out on the web at BIM9.com.